Hey, for, oh wow, the Squire Dave Taylor has reacted to my comment on Facebook. So I have a Facebook group about Mr. Science Theater, and uh, it's the only thing on Facebook where I occasionally get any kind of feedback. <laughs> and um, uh, someone named Dave Taylor reacted according to a notice. I, it popped up as I was hitting record, and it's Dave Taylor, which of course means it must be the Squire Dave Taylor of WCW fame. Who else could it possibly be? All right, but anyway, this is... Um, Let's play, uh, it's, it's, um, Stranger, it might be Strangers, but I think it's Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. I am the Mysterious JG, that I'm fairly sure. Uh, so, a combination of, like, a lot of stuff going on at work, the family vacation, just you know different things getting in you know interfering with the time i would normally let's play and the fact that i'm just recording too much shit out uploading too much stuff as it is but uh i actually to my own surprise got a tiny bit ahead on this series so i've been away from it for longer than usual uh because i had other stuff i needed to record i couldn't i couldn't luxuriate in this game even though the last time we were together you and i general viewer my friends of the digital age things are actually getting pretty interesting we defeated the last of the four fiends who in in this world is Kraken, because in this world we fight Tiamat first. So yeah, like this this game, it started out as this kind of like weird, let's do a, um, let's do a first person uh, action uh, sword game version of Final Fantasy. But even from Jump, there's a little hint that something's wrong, because you've got the wrong number of people to be the Light Warriors. And, um, I was, I actually was digging on the idea of, yeah, let's just play through Final Fantasy as a, a as an action game. Uh, but, you know, it, it kind of went south when we got to Provoca and uh, skipped over El Frio and went straight to the dwarves. Like, we didn't even see anything with the dwarves. We were just like, we went straight to Astos and I don't know, it got a little weird. But it's, it's getting further and further off, and if I didn't already know the original Final Fantasy, none of this would bother me at all. But it, but it's interesting now. I, I kind of had, like, I think, like, the ending of the game, like, the overall ending of the main game, not counting DLCs, has, was spoiled for me. But, like, how we get there is a bit of a mystery, and now we've really hit a point where I do not know what's going to happen, because... We uh, defeated the Four Fiends, which in theory means that we're supposed to have saved the world... But everything is just getting worse, and the people of Corneria are blaming us. And, uh, I, you know, there's a lot of silliness and, and zaniness and goofiness in this game, and, and some of the voice acting, and I guess the voice direction more than anything else. And just the very japanese of the script. You can't make the little changes to a Japanese script to make it read better in English than you used to be able to do, because the purists will, will lose their shit. So any, like, almost any story that's just taken over straight from Japanese is going to feel a little stilted and weird just because, you know, minor little cultural differences and, and any, any scene that's supposed to be humorous never seems to translate right. But all in all, like, this game, I, I know that we're not too far from something goofy and silly that's going to bring us right back down to ground. But at the moment, I'm really flying high with, like, I don't know where the story's going. I'm loving the idea of like, well, what if there were Final Fantasy heroes who went out and did stuff and the people in the towns were just like, fuck you, you didn't solve all of our problems and we're blaming all the problems we still have on you. I'm really interested in what's next. I probably should have done some off-screening after last time. I did, I did not. Let's take a quick glance here and see if we have a lot of points to spend. Dark Knight is uh, one of these jobs where, like, eventually I just need to decide I'm either am or am not going to dip my toe in some of the other end jo expert jobs. Like, the basic and advanced, the interim jobs, I don't feel the need to go check out, but, like, we might want to play around later on with some of these other jobs. Here, I think, um, we already got Dark Knight Affinity... Dark Knight Affinity plus 15. This is Dark Knight plus 25. So this is what we're heading towards. And we've got enough to get it. So if I've ever... Basically this means if I, if I ever go with the Dark Knight class, we'll... Be able to move fairly quickly towards... Uh, where 
Wrapping a blade energy. That's all those points used up. I don't know if that was a great idea. Void Knight and... Yeah, big one was just, uh, for this, I think, I think all we're trying to get our red mage is just so unlo un unlocking other jobs out of it, so, um, red mage affinity, red mage affinity, chain spell mastery, is there another red mage affinity? We've got all the red mage affinities. We've unlocked the tyrant job, tyrant fighting style. Um, tell the Christians that they won't have to vote after the next, next election. Sorry. Eradicate all the stand before you with attacks wreathed, wreathed in elemental energy. Tyrants can hold R2 to activate an enchant, imbue their weapon with an element corresponding to the magic of, all, of their choice. Well, then, on R2 while casting will increase the tier of the special in fire, and fire 2 and fire 3. Okay, so there are element uh, dudes. It's probably a pain in the ass to figure out which element you're going to use, so bear that in mind. Uh, we will... Unlock the path towards Void Knight. Monk, I think we're just kind of done with Monk. Warrior. I think we're done with Warrior. Duelist. I think we're done with Duelist. Some of these are just going to hang around for a while. Okay. Yeah, but we've unlocked the Tyrant job, which means uh, if I want to start learning Tyrant skills, I can probably have Tyrant gear equipped. But for now, Red Mage. We need a little bit more Red Mage to get Void Knight. Liberator. Did we unlock Liberator and we just can't use it yet? I think that's what happened there. At some point I have to mess with... Marksman and Pilgrim I think might be because I have the DLC. So at some point we should probably play with them too. But uh, Tyrant we have just unlocked. The Breaker we have fully mastered because it's the thing I've basically been playing. Liberator we've just unlocked. I think all that's I think we've unlocked all the jobs then except a whatever is on. The, oh no, hold on, we got a Ninja. So we do need to get more Samurai points so we can get Ninja. And, uh... Yeah, Dragoon's pretty important for unlocking these top-end jobs. We actually spent a little time actually using that job. But Void Knight and, uh, Ninja appear to be the only jobs left that we, uh, haven't unlocked the ability to hold the jobs at all. And again, uh, Marksman leads to Hunter... And Pilgrim leads to Evoker. So I guess I gotta play with them eventually. I think they just have their own little job paths that are DLC job paths. But, uh, alright, so... Samurai is what we need to get Ninja. Dark Knight, we're just learning for the hell of it. So we need Samurai, and we need Red Mage. So what kind of gear have we got equipped? I didn't think I was going to spend 10 minutes uh, on this kind of thing up front, sorry. But yeah, right now I've got a lot of, uh, just because I was curious about learning the powers of Dark Knight, but in fact... Start learning Liberator. This is probably because I haven't been having much fun with Samurai Swords. That's probably what part of our problem is here. Samurai Swords would be the things to equip to really get some of that stuff leveled up. I'm pretty happy with this Wapit we've got. 
the silver cloak and could we switch to samurai boots and do okay this will give us actually better stats in most areas Samurai booties. These will bring our stats down in pretty much every possible way, but it gives a lot of samurai points. The red mage affinity bonus is giving us intellect plus we're getting all the way up to those stats those stats for samurai breakers giving us that dark knight we're only down to this isn't really that amazing What about switching to Wapit? This would give me uh, comparable stats. This is actually giving me better in almost every way, and it's teaching me Marauder, which I don't care about right now. Let's look at the highest level stuff we got for our Wapit. This would go, uh, this would be a breaker instead of, uh, guess is better. It's just that it's in our main job. Here we go. We'd be switching from Dark Knight to Dark Knight. This is actually better in every way for us. Because it's giving us, uh, enables Fatal Crush. It's giving us better stats and we're learning Dark Knight faster, but... We wanted to start learning some other things. There's Liberator. Okay. Let's start learning some Liberator stuff. getting anything for uh, Dark Knight anymore, but now we're getting increases window of time which a parry can be performed. That's actually pretty good because I'm probably terrible at all that timing. All right, so much for, I guess, like, oh, the story's really getting interesting. Let's spend half of the video on equipment. Sorry. Let's uh, jump in now and figure out what the hell's going on in the story because uh, we can only go to one place, Cornelia. Yeah. Ah, Cornelia, the joyous city with its proud alabaster castle. Though it lives in the shadow of chaos, its noble people greet the dawn with heads held high. The spirits of Cornelia's common folk are sustained by the royal family, particularly the beloved princess, Princess Sarah's Cornelia's moon, her silvery smile of balm that heals any troubled heart. Princess Mia is a sun. Is it sun, a source of comforting warmth to all? Yet it is a prophecy too, it is prophecy too that sustains the people's hopes. The wise words of Lucan foretelling warriors of light who will one day rise up and lead Cornelia to salvation. We're going to meet Lucan, because he kind of was part of the plot of Final Fantasy 1, to the extent that it had one. I guess this is where the people, like, this is the, if you don't bother to do the in-between stuff, this is where you find out everyone's pissed. And it is the same people from, yeah, it's Big Boob Lady. Something bad is stirring, and it's not just the storm. And this dark wind, I feel something bad. We've risked our lives to restore light to the crystals. Jerks. They shine more brightly than ever before. Is this not what you wanted? Are you not entertained? That was a Yet different thing, Boo Lady. Sneers and snickers. snickers? We wanted Mars Vars. Say then say it now. Lucan's prophecy says four warriors of light will come. Four! Oh, One of don't you be so picky. Is an imposter. Oh. Excuse me? We have trusted you. It's all your fault. Says who? Oh, that's a good comeback, Sophia. You? You? 
You want to fight us right now? Maybe you. Okay, Sophia, you're not helping. You're just threatening to murder people on the, the street. Around us closer than ever. What did you do? We think you're evil. Oh, you do, do you? Well, which one of you thinks that? I'll prove we're not evil by threatening you with violence here and now. So much for a hero's welcome. Shut up. Let's head to the castle. We should get a warmer reception there. Isn't one of the princesses like the sun or some shit? Didn't know what the weird guy was saying. <laughs> By weird guy, of course, I mean. Hey, they weren't actually dressed in their gear from, uh, they were dressed in modified versions. Like, this is, this is uh, a thing where I've noticed before in these cinematics, they'll be wearing the actual gear, which is weird because some of the gear looks better in cinematics than others, but... Everybody's faces were visible. Nobody had, like, dumbass things blocking their entire eyeline. So, uh, they're breaking the rules for this cinema. This is an important one, I guess. <sighs> the staff! I told you to take the visit staff. See, now we're wearing our gear. So that last cinema was playing by different rules than this one. You! What have you done? How did you take the time to change clothes between now and coming to visit the king? Are you? Why are you wearing a very demonic-looking helmet? You! I want you to look me in the eyes when I'm talking to you, but you have changed from your last cinematic so that you could put on a weird blinder. Some reception. <laughs> exactly what you told us to do. We found the lost crystals and restored their light. Evil light. And yet flames leap wild from our hearts. Fierce gusts of wind rattle our windows. My windows are rattling, and I demand you pay a price. The land shifts and grows under our very feet. I'm sure it's just the crystals doing their thing. Might take some time to get used to it. No, if the land is shifting under my feet, that clearly means night is worms. You have unleashed the Zerg upon our realm. This is what this world is supposed to be like. Hmm? Oh, they speak of you as demons in the town below. They call you dark servants of chaos! And you listen to them, Minister Lagon. <sighs> Shut the fuck up, Minister! I know that's yes, some bullshit. That was rude. Mean. The history of Cornelia is tightly bound to chaos. We're Chaos City. Who can remember a world without its dark presence lurking in the shadows beside us? I say we capitalize on this. We become a darkness themed tourist attraction. Yes, the crystal's light has been restored. But it's evil light. But we cannot expect the prosperity of our lost golden age to reappear overnight. Jack's like, oh, I'm actually starting to be into this girl whom I seem to hate for no reason before. easy. Until peace returns, is it not our responsibility to be the light of hope for the people? The ideal is deep. Now, you know, I had a witty comment. I've just under undercut it deeply. The ideally idealized blonde fantasy princess lady is right. Listen to her as she courageously stands around being helpless in a bridal costume. She's right. To give them a beacon to look to for comfort. I mean this sincerely. You're following Rizzo 1 rules, not Rizzo 2 rules. Clutching that chest. Terrible news. The pirates of Provoca are running amok in the city. What? The fuck? No, uh, yeah, like, it's pretty apparent from uh, prior chats with the people that that is a thing we should do, is just go, like, sort those pirates out, because people are like, you've restored the, the crystals, but pirates are still being a pain. It's like, all right, you want us to go kick the ass of some pirates? And we got done defeating the four fiends, and pirates should not be a problem. That rattle is no match for our soldiers. Capture them at once. No, slaughter them! Uh, Gagan, what's your deal? Monsters have invaded the city, your majesty. It's chaos in the streets. Pirate monsters? Chaos. Curses! Save chaos. the game! Defenders what? to the walls! Protect the castle! Uh, which side of this fight should we be on? <laughs> Fighting's what I live for. Or have you forgotten? I thought you lived to destroy chaos. Alright, well I guess we have a level set in Corneoria. That's fine, we can do that. We gotta find Bicky. That son of a bitch told us he was on our side. Oh, Minister, you're my favorite character. I have mocked all manners of atrocities committed by those serving the throne. I was a fool to think the loyalty of pirates could be held for long. 
Wait, what? The pirates are working for you? Like, that's news. That's not something that we knew from before, is it? Oh, let's talk to little tiny princess. Please, don't let the people come to harm. Harm them actively, yourselves. Don't make it a passive thing. I've had some training in sword fight. Although I can't join you. I'll defend my family with my mind. Yeah, it feels like somebody felt bad about what a generic, like... She's fr she's strong, she's brave, but she can't do anything for herself. A little blonde fantasy princess she was, so they kind of threw that line in there to be a little bit feminist, but uh, I, I ain't buying it. I order you to go out and deal with those pirates immediately. Wait, who are you? I mean, I know who you are, you're the queen, but like, when did you become a character? Pirates want from us. Treasure. Throw. That's... What do, you, what do you mean, what can they want from you? You're the king! They, th yes, treasure! The throne! You got it, buddy! <laughs> you're the richest city in the world, and you're the richest man in it, and the pirates are trying to sack your... your... your palace. This is not... like... Oh my god. Shocking. <laughs> Whatever. I'm still having fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, but uh, yeah, it is, it is right back to the goofiness that I was expecting. Also, I like... He's got a real, like, king from He-Man. Like, uh, Prince Adam's dad. Or Prince Adam himself. Like, like super buff king. <laughs> He-Man has to, like, be even more buff uh, and shirtless in order for it to come across. Because everybody on uh, the Eternia is, like, incredibly cut and buff. Oh, they killed Big Boo Bold Lady. Oh, shocking me. Not that... Hey, that, that guy was actually kind of nice to us before. Jack, I'm glad to have you fighting by our side. We'll remain here to protect the royal family. Why are they... Why aren't they just Jack. called Big... Bigs and Wedge? I don't, I don't understand why they're not just called that, but... Alright, I haven't played in a minute, uh, but uh, I think we're gonna get thrown right into it for the way that scene went. If we just start at the save thing, even though the last scene ended with pirates jumping at us. Enemy spot. Come on, follow me. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, see, I. As usual, like, you're punished for every... Like, I... Oh, oh axes are covered in blood. That's kind of sweet. I, uh, totally, like, lost MP on those guys because I just like, oh, you killed them a regular attack. Haha. Uh, I want to take a quick look at, uh... Yeah, there's no real reason to have Ash in the party right now unless I can switch his job. Uh... So can I switch his job? Because you are learning a new job. You... I don't think... Yeah, I think we've got a... He's mastered all the jobs he has. So I've... There's no real reason to do it. I've had like... It's either we got the boys backing us up or the girls backing us up. There's no great logic to that. Because uh, right now... He's picked up a fourth job, so he still has a benefit in being in the party and leveling up his job. Because job levels are the only levels in the game. Well, I mean, there's equipment level, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but we're not just getting generic experience by being in the party. Like, if you've mastered the jobs that are available to you, you gain nothing by being in combat. So, what I'm getting at here is that I probably should uh, actually break this kind of just for my own silly reasons... The girls are backing us up, or the boys are backing us up thing, and actually... Yeah, I need to bring in, uh... Uh, Sophie. And, you know, I'm probably reading way too much into it, but I've got this sense that, like, Sophie and, uh... Jed have a little... Or, uh, sorry, Neon... Oh, no, it's... I'm bringing in Sophie. Neon and Jed, there's tiny little bits of dialogue where Jed looks to Neon, and Neon looks to Jed that suggests that maybe there's supposed to be a connection. Um, and again, I'm probably way overthinking it. But, uh, she will be, yeah, alright, so we'll both be actually getting something out of being in combat, that's all I'm getting at. That was rough. 
what's this? At least we have time to take a breather. All right, so in typical fantasy action game fashion, or I mean, uh, any of these like over the shoulder running around action games, we're just we want this to feel like a real city in appearance, but we're also needed to be a kind of yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty much not acting like normal pirates, are they? But I will say, the chaotic energy of this level is fun. I like it, even if it's kind of bullshit from a gameplay perspective and you're just, it's really a perfectly normal level. Anything where it makes this feeling like, oh, there's a rush and people are in trouble. Like, it, it's a, it's always good. Ow! Wrong button. Still, Jack's dead. Now I fucked up there for sure. Um, hey, I was trying to remember if there's any techniques I had to drain health. The real issue I'm, I have... Uh, I don't feel like I have as much control in this game as I do in, like, Wolong. Wolong's kind of a, an easier version of Neo. It's got all the same kind of combat mechanics and neat shit you can do. It's just the game's not as dickish about making you be really good at everything. In this game, I just never feel like I've got that many different ways I can do things. But, uh... I've got a move where you do this charge, and I really like it, and I'm not consistently being able to, to, to execute. And there's nothing that complicated about it, I just... I just seem to keep getting the input wrong. And I think it's because sometimes I'm hitting the I'm hitting the uh, second button too early. Like I've got to finish. Oh there I just got that period. So as I was saying before, I like it even though it's kind of BS and the combat's really working the same way as it always works. The idea that there's tension and that enemies are infinitely spawning uh, is fun. Watch it I, yeah, that, but what I lost for a minute was how the, how the counters to their fancy plants work. Yeah, because I can't just keep tanking those. Doing it. Right. Oh, that's right. This is how I heal. This doesn't bode well. Come on, we can do this. And enough is enough, and it's time for a change. That was less than ideal. At least we have time to take a breather. Mm. It's fine. Relax. All right, so let's call it a video. When we come back next time, hopefully I won't be as bad at the game. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of interesting. No, the, I, I, our characters are not rocket scientists or brain surgeons, but they have figured out <laughs> something's wrong. We've restored the light to the crystals, but what's happening doesn't, um, doesn't feel right. It's beyond just pirates are being a problem. It's like pirates are turning into Sahagans as they attack the city. So... What is, whatever's going on, it's beyond just normal criminal activity. There is something that involves, like, evil power and monsters and shit. Now, back in Final Fantasy, we used to have pirates and we used to have Kaizoku. And Kaizoku is just Japanese for pirate. I didn't know that as a kid. And when you would encounter pirates, as like a plot battle in Provoka. But then after that point, you can find... Thank you. Shut up. Please be quiet. YouTube video. You would encounter uh, Kaizoku uh, out at sea, and only at sea, uh, and they had, they were a palette swap of pirates, but because I didn't know Kaizoku was Japanese for pirate, I figured they were like some kind of weird, uh, like, aquatic demi-humans or something. <laughs>
and now and, and uh, you would fight Sagan and sharks uh but and those like weird eyeball seaweed monsters but i don't remember whether they would all be in the same party i know the sharks and the seaweed monsters would be in the same party Sagans might show up in a party with sharks i feel like maybe kaizokus were never in the same party which basically is supposed to mean your ship is being attacked by pirates but I kind of figured they were some kind of sea monster. So this is making sense with a weird head cannon I had that was never the proper cannon of the series. Um, whatever the hell's going on, hopefully we'll find out more about it next time. And as terrible as I'm being at the game right now, I'm still having fun, and I hope you are too. Catch you guys next time.